Limited edition Santa Paddy plushie. Limited edition Santa Paddy plushie. Limited edition Santa Paddy plushie. Hi, I'm Matt, real civil engineer and CEO of a limited edition Santa Paddy plushie emporium and warehouse. Thanks to a shipping error, I'm now overstocked on limited edition Santa Paddy plushies, and I'm passing the savings on to you. Make your Paddy Christmassy when he refuses to wear a Santa hat. Practice your football kicking skills. Protect your crops. Keep your seat warm. Run a hot bath. Or just have it play the drums for you. Whatever your limited edition Santa Paddy plushie needs are, order your limited edition Santa Paddy plushie now to guarantee Christmas delivery. Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome back to To The Core, where last time we got this orbital laser thing, uh, which if we zoom out means we can drill down to this planet's core and completely destroy it. Nice. Um, oh, man, it's so... It's so satisfying just slowly orbiting, eating away an entire planet. But anyway, let's head to the shop because this is the current state of our tech tree. And basically everything in green we can upgrade. So this will take 810 gunpowder. I've got 900 because in this crafting tab, I am crafting gunpowder as well as steel. And when we get diamond, we'll be doing circuit boards too. Now, I think what I want to aim for is this, the vision upgrade too. That will allow me to see level three planets that will get me some new places to unlock. Uh, we're going to need 30 million quid as well as a load of gunpowder and coal. I need 1 million. I only have 71. That's not 71 million, just 71. But that will allow me to mine some of these other planets that are orbiting the sun. We're currently here. We've got the home planet, which we have prestige three times. Uh, so that gives us 27 times the resources, but they're more powerful. If we head to the moon, we've only prestiged this twice. Uh, it's worth noting this is where the coal and sulfur is to make the gunpowder that we need. So I think we'll probably just start here. You can see as well as my laser, we are shooting missiles. I've also got grenades, which boost do quite big damage because I've upgraded them quite a lot. We can also head into the core itself. Uh, but yeah, basically bottom left, our fuel bar does not last forever and eventually it'll run out and we'll die. Then we go back to the shop where loads of things are green because we've got loads of resources. Uh, so I can make my grenades more powerful. I can increase my fuel energy and then we can go back at it again so this i think this upper layer is just rock we don't really care about that i want to get a bit deeper because this is how we can make our gunpowder so as we're getting that we'll see fuel bar going way down but if we go back to the shop up the top crafting tab we are crafting gunpowder so we can craft what we have but we can also upgrade this for gems now remember we get gems every time we hit a block or at least a chance to get them we've got nearly twenty thousand. so if we upgrade that a few times every time we craft We'll get way more gunpowder. Now we've got a thousand and we only need 3,000 in order to upgrade, although we do need 30 million quid. Now, as I mentioned before, we're prestige two, which means we get eight times the resources. If we can get to prestige three, then we can get 27 times the resources. And in order to do that, all we've got to do is try and destroy the core. Now, it looks like my laser doesn't really work on these lower levels. Um, I do regen my fuel and my health. You can see bottom left, that orange bar going up. If I do like these upper layers that are pretty good. You can see that bar goes up um, and that will allow me to get through to the core. Hopefully there we go. And now we can try and hit it. So I've got five grenades remaining. Let's launch all of those. Now that did a bit of damage. I can do my laser, but my fuel bar is going down a lot. So let's get to about there and then we'll just regen our health by doing a bit of that. All right. Then we'll hit it with the laser again. Again. Oh, is this actually doing anything? I'm not sure. Yeah, it's getting smaller. It's definitely getting smaller. So one more time. Oh, it's getting smaller. I think we're going to have to do it one more time. So let's just head over this side of the planet. Regen our health by mining all that out. All right, and then ready. Hit the core with the laser. Come on. Come on. It's so small. Yes, we did it. So we have prestiged. So if we prestige and restart, you will notice, look, we don't cut through the blocks as easy. And my grenades, oh, they don't do that much damage. But we have made quite a big hole. And remember, we get 27 times the resource. Sources. That tiny run, we got like 3 million of everything, which means back in the shop, loads of stuff to upgrade. Now, if we go to the top right, this is all the all the gem stuff. So I can spend 20,000 gems to rather than get eight gems every time we find one, we get nine. What's this one up here? It costs 20,000 gems as well, but we get 20. 
rather, okay, that's definitely worth doing. So rather than increasing by one, I've just increased by 20. So if we go back to like Earth Planet Prestige 1, because this is the, the easiest way to destroy blocks. Basically, every time we destroy a block, there's a chance to find a gem. And if you look like in the in the bottom right, we've got like 6,000 gems. And then remember, we can use these gems to upgrade these so that we craft stuff quicker. So if we just craft a load more gunpowder, then look, we have enough gunpowder now. We just need the money and the coal. Um, and as long as I keep 3,000 gunpowder, it means I can upgrade some of these. Like I can add an extra grenade. I can make my grenade size bigger. Yeah, that's only a few thousand. But to get that coal, we can only get that on the moon at the moment. So let's go to the moon, prestige three, and then let's head down and then get our grenades involved. Oh man, you die instantly. All right, grenade, 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 grenade. Just spam grenades. I've got loads of them. There we go. And so now, yeah, look how much coal we got. We got six million coal now. So now we just need money. I need 20 million. But what I can do, I can come to this resources tab and I can sell like some of these resources. Like I don't need all these. Like aluminium, I've got 43 million millions worth so let's just reduce and sell like half that will get us 20 million we need then back in the skill tree we can unlock vision upgrade 2 let's buy that and then in the solar system oh look over here so we got two new planets we need to buy these for money though so that's that's 80 million it's got ice sand and rock in it it's got a little moon floating about that's got sand coal and cobalt but that's 500 mil to unlock uh, up this way there's a little green planet it in the middle. Two billion? But it has plants, which I imagine we'll need later. Uh, so yeah, the cheapest one, we need 80 million quid. So I think the easiest way to do that, go back to the home planet, go to Prestige 3, and then just destroy this a bit because there's loads of blocks here like we're getting so much resource we can just sell it like it may be worth every time my grenades run out we just restart because look how big the grenade explosion is i really went to town upgrading them last time well done past matt looking after future matt as always unless you've seen my twitter and you saw the state of my cables when i moved my computer anyway without even selling any of my resources look in the top right 120 million which means we can come to this little planet what's it called glaciers and we can buy that Yes. And uh, let's travel and see what this planet is. Oh, there's frost. Oh, wow. We are cutting through that like anything. All right, let's shove some grenades down there. Okay, we're already pretty much to the core, which is nice. What is that resource? Sand. And there's rock in the middle. We've already got rock from the moon. Sand and ice were new, though. Um, I do just wonder if I like go and hit the core, I die instantly. Fair enough. But now look at this. There's so many green things. So let's do the final grenade damage boost. Grenades nearly maxed out. I can spend gunpowder on upgrading, so we'll do that. We've now got nine grenades on us. What's this one? Unlock glass. Oh, we can craft glass. I'll be with the sand. So yeah, we'll definitely do that. Then we'll look in our crafting tab. Yeah, there's the glass. Uh, oh, I only cost 80 gems to upgrade. So basically, every time we upgrade, you can see this multiplier here. That's how much glass we get per craft. So if I just like go up to there, we'll get 45 for every bit of resource. So if we do that, we've now got one point 2,000 glass. And yeah, so down here, there's the glass tanks one, which increases our fuel storage. Only cost 10. So yeah, let's do that a few times. Remember that unlocks more upgrades once we get to either level 5 or 10. It stays as a question mark until you like upgrade. There you go, up to level 8. So the next one is our plant. A plant-based fuel tank. Interesting. Uh, meanwhile, up here, these are quite good ones. The ore purify, because they give us way more blocks. So we get like, almost like a 70, 80% increase in blocks. So that costs us 7 million aluminium. So we'll do that a couple of times. Thank you. Uh, what's that one? Freeze fuel. That uses the ice I've just got. Makes it so you can't take damage. Yes, please. We'll do that a few times until... Oh, well, I can just... Can I just like max this one out? Almost. Got to 14 out of the 20 upgrades. And then I guess I'll just spend upgrades on like whatever I can afford. So regeneration, always useful. Uh, gem chance. I don't want to waste it. I don't want to waste gems on that one. I'll definitely do this one. Though. Look, it goes from 20 to 40 gems. But yeah, anyway, now we're a bit stronger and hopefully it means we can sort of get down to the core. Like, check out the grenades. They are just ripping through. Let's grenade the core and then hopefully... Oh, I died. Are you sure I died game? Like my fuel looks pretty good. Oh no, that does say minus one. Fair enough. Let's restart. I'll try and be a bit more sensible. I think it's because I orbital lasered. Anyway, let's Grenade the core. Stay at a safe distance. Oh, look how small it is. Okay, we'll just laser that. There you go. We've prestiged. So we'll prestige and restart. And then it should be a bit stronger, but we're getting eight times the resources that we
like we were before. So I think it's always worth prestiging. I mean, we can get to the core straight away again, pretty much. Like, I'm in there and I, I've just died. But still, lots of green. Oh, what's this one over here? Speed. We can make our grenade size bigger. That's now maxed out. There is another one there. We need antimatter for that. We have not unlocked antimatter yet. Anyway, over here, freeze fuel. Yeah, let's keep going with that one. I think that helped us massively. Uh, rock reinforcement. It's just, there's so much to... <laughs> There's so much to upgrade. I don't even know what this, like, electricity tank does. I guess we'll just go for it. All right, got to remember to, like, craft everything. What's more important, glass or gunpowder? I think gunpowder, because then I can do my explosive stuff. Anyway, that is everything upgraded that we can. I think now I actually want to I wanna prestigious planet. So let's just head down. We'll use my grenades to get a bit closer to the core. Oh, no, that rock is strong. That rock is strong. Okay, we need more fuel like that one. I think this freeze fuel is a good idea as well. So if I can get more ice, which is this top layer, I'll be able to unlock those freeze fuels. So we'll focus on that. All right, so that's that one maxed out. We can then do this one, which costs 1 million ice each time. All right, and then are we any better? Yes, we've got to the core. We only have one grenade, though. So yeah, that did almost, almost nothing. I can try to laser it, but it's just not going to happen. So back in the shop, we need more armor. So let's do that. We need more fuel. That one's now maxed out. Oh, what's down there? Orbital lasers. Place down orbital laser beacons by right clicking. I need circuit boards and uranium. So uranium, I need to find on a planet, I think. Circuit boards, though, I can, yeah, I can craft them. Although I need diamonds, which we haven't found yet. Anyway, up here, we have a question mark. So I need to upgrade my, no I mean, my missiles to uh, do that. So I need more more steel. And in order to craft steel, you can see I need iron and coal. I've got iron. I just need to get some coal on the go. So coal was back at my... Where's my home planet? There it is. Back on the moon of that. So we've got prestige three. So let's do that. And then coal is the middle layer. So I think we'll just head inside there. Get boosting. Get grenading. And every time we die, we just restart. We'll just do this like a few times. It's like I got so many grenades. I may as well try and use them up each time. So after a few of those, we go back to the shop. We go to crafting. Um, oh, I can upgrade my steel. Yeah, let's upgrade that a few times. And then craft steel, craft glass, craft gunpowder. And then yes, I can make my thing bigger. That's what she said. <laughs> so this just shoots more missiles per second. So we'll upgrade that a few times. I'm basically just trying to unlock that and possibly that one. I need 100 steel for that. Uh, worth noting now though with the steel, I do need iron as well. So we'll do some moon drilling to get the coal. And look, we're getting an obscene amount. We got 9 million that time. Then we can go back to the solar system, back to the home planet, which is Prestige 3 as well. And then this upper layer, this is the iron that we need. So bottom right, you can see we got like 40 million now, which means in the craft tab if I especially if I upgrade again uh, we can craft and get loads and loads of steel which means oh we can make our missile size bigger as well as increase grenade explosion damage oh that's given us two more upgrades <laughs> it's just constant upgrades it's so overwhelming but I love it yeah so basically every new thing I unlock gives us like another one almost so it's worth doing these end ones this is electric drops the more electricity you have will buff drops oh nice by five percent so I should probably max out my electrical size as well uh, electricity tank. Yep, we want that big now. That's given us another one. All right, and then I might try and take down the home planet to Prestige 4 because we can get to the core pretty easily. I haven't even used a grenade yet. Look, here we go. Here's the grenade. So that is that down. Now we just grenade the core and then boosh, it's down. So if we Prestige and restart, Prestige 4. I wonder, can we do it again? Probably not. I think we did pretty well last time. Although maybe I got four grenades remaining. Launch them down there. Oh, it's close. It's close. Yeah, it's done. We prestiged again. All right, so now our home planet, Prestige 5. Ore gems and block health times 125. So base... Oh, man, look at... I don't know if you can see, like, on the right, the amount of resources we are getting. It's just insane. I don't think we're going to be able to get to the core again. I mean, oh, we got to the core. I don't think we can destroy it, though. Although maybe I can. If I, like, if I head in here... Yeah, as I mine around, my fuel bar is going back up, albeit only only just. I've drilled a tunnel around the entire planet. Have I got enough to laser the core? It's getting smaller. It's getting smaller. Yes, we did it again. <laughs> okay, so now we are actually getting fat resources. We're getting like almost 
billions per like second. So this is quite an upgrade. Now it means there's lots of green on here for me to unlock. So I think first things first, let's get the grenades maxed out. So 10 grenades completely maxed up here. Grenade damage. Let's get them done. I love the grenades. Down here, what was that? Static explosion. Sure, sounds good. We'll make the size bigger as well. Uh, yeah, this is an important one. The ore purifier. I think if I get that to level 10, I'll unlock this one, which maybe will allow me to do it with a different resource. Yeah, oh, diamond. I don't have diamond. But that increases the drop rates of blocks like a lot. Yeah, a lot of these I need diamond. How do I get diamond? I want. Oh, is it that moon? Sand, coal, and cobalt. No, it isn't. Although cobalt is a new resource and that could lead us there. So I need 500 mil. All right, I'll tell you what, this ice layer gets completely mullered. Uh, let's go down and try and prestige though, because we got the grenades fully maxed. We got 10 of them now. All right, are we going to do it. I think we will with our little missiles. There we go. We've prestiged that, which means as we orbit this planet lasering it, look in the top right. Our money is flying up, although I need 500 mil for the next planet. So before we do anything else, let's do some more upgrades. This one. Oh, I can get more grenades. That costs gunpowder. Okay. Yes, please. Definitely have more grenades. All right. And I think the more ice I get, the more of that freeze fuel I get. So I don't know if you could see at the very the very start. If I just reset this level by dying. Man, it's really hard to die. There we go. Yeah, so bottom left. Can you see my, my fuel tank? It's like it starts off blue. That's the freeze fuel protection thing. So basically, the more, the more I upgrade that, it's basically just like another fuel tank I can use. So it will do lots more destruction of this ice planet. Get in there with the grenades as well. Then we can upgrade the freeze fuel. And then I reckon let's head back to the moon to get some more rock and sulfur and stuff. I reckon I can probably get another prestige or two on this. Although quite hard to get to the core. There we go. We are just about through. There we go. There we go. There it is. Prestiged. So we'll prestige and restart. And hopefully we can get to it again. Or maybe not. So more upgrades into drill strength. More farming other resources so I can do more upgrades. And then I have enough cash to unlock Endura, which is the moon of that frosty planet. 500. Oh, I don't have enough. I need 40 million. Sorry. Hang on a sec. Die, ice planet. Die. Okay. Now we've got enough money. So we'll head to there. Let's have a look at what this is like. So, oh, nice and easy to destroy with my laser. That's what I like to see. Uh, if we zoom out, you can see there's the core. I mean, it wouldn't look like a lemon. I'm a bit like Paddy today. I'm very destructive. I've completely destroyed my new planet. I've then got 12 grenades. I'm just going to orbit whilst Taking the placing grenades. And then after dying there in the shop, we should have some new stuff we can upgrade. Oh, I can make my missile size bigger. That would be. But yeah, right. Let's have a go at getting to the core in this planet. So it should be fairly easy because I got 12 grenades. I was like, oh, what is this bottom? That's cobalt. That's brutal. Yeah, let's start again. That cobalt layer absolutely rinsed me. All right, let's just pepper it with grenades. There we go. I think we're three. We're down to the core. Oh, the core is brutal though. All right, let's 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 ram it. That that didn't work. Anyway, back in the shop. What is that? A depth meter. See how close you are to the core. Costs cobalt and glass. Don't know why I want that, but may as well, because look, it's led to more upgrades. Uh, oh, increased fuel depending on how close you are to the core. Yeah. And the other one, increased damage depending on how close you are to the core. Wow, they sound cool. So now, as I get down to that cobalt layer, I should do way more damage hopefully i mean i'm not sure it's quite working like that yet maybe after some more upgrades which thankfully i am addicted to doing anyway i've been upgrading for a little bit we are starting to get through the cobalt if i spam my grenades like that we do get through to the core i don't think we're going to be able to destroy the core anytime soon but uh, there are specific cobalt upgrades like this one the cobalt covering and if i upgrade that that leads to two new upgrades there's also a health regen one over here that uses cobalt so i will do that but remember i get more powerful the closer i am to the core now so if i can get into the core and then shoot outwards. We're doing loads more damage. Oh, we nearly took the core down there. All right, anyway, now I'm in. I just got to get close. Oh, look how much damage. Oh, I died. No. All right, more upgrades, more upgrades. Oh, yeah, more depth damage, more depth fuel as well. And then hopefully it means down here. Yes, now we're in. 
Come on. Yes, we prestiged it, which probably means I won't be able to get anywhere near the cobalt. But I got all my grenades, which hopefully will give us a good multiplier. Remember, it's eight times the resources we were getting before. So that worked out pretty nicely. In order to get this next planet, what do you need? Two billion? Okay, tell you what, let's go back to the home planet. Prestige six. Let's see, can we rip through this now? We should be a lot stronger than when we last tried. Oh, I'll tell you what, this is getting us some money. Look how much money we have. Oh, we, we've prestiged it as well. All right, can we do it again? Oh, yes, we can. We are so strong. Anyway, we got 19 billion, which means we can get this next planet, the plant one. So let's travel to there and see what this is all about. So plant matter on the outside. That's pretty cool. On the inside is soil. We have not seen soil yet, but uh, zooming out. Oh, it's a big planet. It is a big planet. Wait, what are they? Are they like spaceships attacking me? Oh, they are. Oi, there's things attacking me. Nobeds. I'm just mining a planet. Just minding my own business mining. Oh, there's so many of them. Oh, there's also a timer. What does that timer do? It's counting up. 45 seconds. I don't know what that means, but I do know we've now got loads. <laughs> loads of upgrades. Look at the state of this tree, man. Um, oh, also, look. Drones. We need to get circuit boards. Can we actually craft them now? No, we still need diamond. So I think somewhere on this tree we'll get the ability to do diamond. Siphon expander. Increases siphon yield. Okay, may as well. I think that just gives us more money. Uh, over here, if I do grenade damage, that will lead to more upgrades. So yeah, let's do that. There we go. What is that one? Grenade scaling. Scales the grenade damage with drill damage. Yes, please. And that's also led to another upgrade. What is that one? Hydrogen bomb. Oh, I need hydrogen. 10 billion. That's quite a way off. Uh, down here, should probably do these. I don't really, I don't know what anything does anymore. I'm just upgrading it all. Right, up here, critical strike multiplier. Oh, that's the multiplier. So basically, as I mine, can you see like bottom right, you get like a multiplier sort of thing. I think if you like keep hitting stuff constantly, then you get like more resource. So it's sort of better to destroy things as quickly as possible. Um, what is this bottom layer? Oh, it's clay. This bottom layer is clay. Interesting. So this is a very Earth-like planet, which I'm just willy-nilly destroying. I think maybe they're like Earthlings trying to like defend their planet. They're not doing a very good job. I can literally just fly over them, like lasering them from above whilst destroying the plant matter layer. But yeah, anyway, we've got a good haul there. Let's upgrade our missiles. We can finally get that organic fuel tank. And then I reckon this time I'm going to try and get down to the core. And let's have a go at Preston prestiging this. So, oh wow, grenade. Grenades are barely making it through this clay layer. All right, we are in now. Oh, I just... I went straight to the core and just exploded. Um, I think I need to aim for like another upgrade. I think maybe this one, get to another planet, level four planets. I nearly have enough money. I nearly have enough glass. I'm going to need some sand. So if I head back to the moon up there, yeah, this top layer is all sand. So, oh boy, that's a lot of sand. That is a lot of sand. Oh, I've just realized on the left, it actually tells you like how deep you are, like your damage multiplier. All right, so from inside the core. Oh, do you keep that anyway? Oh, you just got to go to the core and then you keep the damage multiplier. Okay, so worth going right in to the core. So easy does it, easy. Oh, I touched the core, it's so powerful. Anyway, I was gonna try and prestige the planet, but I think it's probably a bit too much for me. So I may as well just do a few laps, getting that sand that I need. We'll do this a few times. I mean, to be honest, just going through with my grenades, I think does more than floating around the outside. But right, we have enough now, so let's buy that and then see what the next planet costs. So, oh, we're down, we're down here. Two trillion, but that's where the diamond is. Ooh, three layers of diamond. And there's this one, which is 10 trillion. Okay, so how am I going to save up two trillion? I feel like going back to my home planet and just prestiging it as much as I can. So we're on to prestige eight at the moment. Can we get another prestige out? So remember, as I get close to the core, we do more damage. Yeah, another prestige. We got like 20 billion doing that. Actually, we're getting loads of billion. I'm not even playing. I'm just watching this menu and I just doubled my money somehow. Okay, prestige and restart. Can we take out another core spam it with the grenades there we go all right so prestige 10 we're not making as much of a dent we're not making that much money either we have prestige again though what are we on a hundred billion oh man i need like two thousand billion right so i tell you what this is how you make money you just 
get to the court, and then just leave this running for a bit. It makes you feel a bit nauseous, but if you just focus on that money up the top right, everything's gravy. And hopefully, every time we press Siege, we should make more money each time. Although, perhaps I should go do some upgrades, because then we will be doing stuff quicker. Yeah, I can't I can't help but press Siege. It's just too easy. Okay, lots, lots and lots to upgrade now. So, upgrade drops. That leads to another one. Can we see what it is? There we go. It's it's more upgrade drops that I need carbon for. Okay, over this way, freeze fuel. That didn't do anything. What about that one? No, up here. Oh, critical chance increased by 10%. That costs steel and 100 billion. Oh, I was trying to save up for the trillions. I don't think that's worth it right now. Oh, actually, resources. Can't I sell stuff? Is there anything worth like trillions in here? No, not really. There's a few things worth billions but it's not going to get me to that 2 trillion mark. So I guess we just keep doing this until I have that 2 trillion. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. Oh, I found out how you get money. I found out how you get money. You destroy a court because once you have that damage boost from the middle, you can then just come out and destroy the rest of the planet. Look, I've got the 2 trillion already. You didn't even have to wait for me. It was just the same round. So to the solar system, it was this planet in here, wasn't it? Yes, we finally get diamond 2 trillion. So this is the diamond planet. Oh, quite a fun funky little planet. So outer ring, we get diamond. Inner ring, we also get diamond. Let's just pepper it in grenades. And then down in the middle, uh, we also get diamonds. So we can destroy the core, prestige it straight away. So now we're on prestige two with the diamonds. And then in the shop, it means in crafting, we can now craft circuit boards. So let's craft some of those. I think I can now increase my critical chance by 10% because that's chump change to me now. And then, yeah, I got circuit boards. I just need glass and then I can get some drones to help me. So to get glass, I reckon head back to this ice planet because then we've got this sandy layer. So we are ripping through that, mining all the way through. And then to be honest, we can probably destroy the core. There we go. So I'll do it again at the higher prestige. So mine out all that sand, then destroy the core. <laughs> oh no, I died. I was about to say how easy it was. <laughs> I got cocky. All right, and then we can craft a load of glass. I might just upgrade it a few times because I got loads of gems. All right, and then we have drones. So we get three drones for that. So let's go mine our diamond planet and see what the drones do. Okay, so those three little guys are drones. Oh, they shoot lasers? Okay, that's quite cool. I like that. What do we need to upgrade them? Oh, just more glass. All right, then we craft the glass. And then we can go from three drones to six drones. Yes. All right, and then we are that far with the tech tree. If we zoom out, though, it gets so much bigger. What? It can't get that big, surely. But uh, for now, I'm massively enjoying this. If you want to see more, remember, boost the like button. Let me know in the comments. But for now, I'll say peace, love, and tech trees. Bye, guys!